Hi guys, this video is for those of you who want to build your own firmware for your Raspberry Pi Pico. This video is not going to be for everyone, it's a very niche video, so if you want to skip it, feel free. But this does mean that if you don't want to use Python, for example if you want something to be faster or if you want to code in C or C++, remember, don't be scared of C or C++, <laughs> then you can make your own firmware. So we'll go through all the steps to do this, but as we said at the beginning, we're not expecting this to be very popular, but it did take us quite a while to figure it out, so we thought this video may help some people. Let's get started. If you want to head over to github.com slash gurgle apps, I've put some instructions up. They're in a repository called PicoPy. You will find a readme file and select C and C++ in the table of contents. This way you can copy and paste from the document and save yourself some time. I'm going to create a new folder on the desktop called dev to put our project in. Let's open up a terminal and get started. First, let's make sure we have the right tools. To save time, you can copy this line from the GitHub repo. This will use the apt package manager to install and get what we need. It's good practice to use apt update before using apt install, but we're skipping that stage because we've already done that today. We've put more details about what we're installing in the readme. Now we're all tooled up, let's change directory in our terminal so we're in our dev folder where our project's going to be stored. Now I need to get the Pico SDK in this folder. Once again I can copy and paste to clone that into our folder. Looks like that's done now, let's check in the folder. There it is. There's a CMake file in there, we need to copy to our current directory. For speed, I'll use a readme again to copy the command line over. Next, I need to make a new file called cmakelists.txt. The touch command will create this file. Now I need to edit it using VS Code. You can use any text editor you want, even vi or vim if you want to do it in the shell. This readme file is really earning its corn. I can just copy the code and paste it. So here we're just including the CMIC file we copied over. We've given it a project name. We initialize the SDK. Flash underscore LED is what we'll pass to our make command just now. Flash dash LED dot C is the file where our C program will be with its main function. Let's make a build folder and CD into it. Now I'm going to run CMIC with the parent directory. Ah, I've made a mistake. It doesn't know where the SDK is. Let's fix that. If I set an environment variable, pico underscore SDK underscore path, to where we downloaded the SDK, then the script will be able to find it and we won't get the error. If you want to know more about environment variables and what we've just done there, we've done a quick video, um, link in the description, but let's get back to business. Now let's run CMake again. It's worked, but it just can't find our C program because we're not done it yet. Let's create that file by using the touch command. Ah, wrong place. I'll just remove that file. Go back into the parent directory and remake it using touch. Then we'll CD back into the build folder. Let's run CMake again. Great, it's ready to build. Guess we need to make a C program to build. Let's open our C file we've just added with our text editor of choice. I'm choosing Visual Studio Code. And for speed, we'll just copy over the C program we've got in our notes. It's just a few lines to flash the onboard LED. We've previously used CMake to make a make file. Now we can just type make flash underscore LED, then it will create our firmware. Why flash underscore LED? Well, that's what we put in our cmakelists.txt. That'll do its magic. And there is our flash underscore LED.uf2 firmware ready to go on our Pico. Let's get this native code that we made in C earlier on our Pico Pi. 
as per usual, you press this button, hold it down while plugging it in, and then if you go into the screen, just wait, and this pops up. We press like usual, nothing changing. Okay. Usually you drag your MicroPython, CircuitPython, UF2 file onto your PicoPy, but this time we're dragging our UF2 file that we made ourselves in um, C onto our PicoPy. So if we just drag that and drop it in there. Now let's check it's worked on our PicoPy. As you can see, our onboard LED is flashing, which is what we coded it to do. Let's alter the code and try something different, just to check that it's actually working. So I'm just going to put our circuit back together. And then, if we go to Visual Studio Code, our code editor, instead of pin 25, I am going to change that to the GPIO pin 14, which is this pin right here. And then we go fire save. Now we're going to make it by doing make flash underscore LED. Enter. Oh, there we go. And then we need to unplug this, hold the button down, plug it in. And that comes up here. Okay. Then we just drag our own UF2 file back down here, like we were doing before. And it's changed to flash in this LED light. Thank you and well done for sticking around to the end of this video. We really don't expect it to be very popular, but if you guys do enjoy these types of videos, including this video, please do let us know and post it in the comment section down below. Or if you have any other videos, ideas that you guys would like us to create for you, then please do post them in the comment section down below. Also, thank you so much for all the amazing comments you guys have been giving us. It really motivates us to keep creating content. We really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>